Hi guys. <clears throat> Hi guys, today is December 2nd. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today might not be that exciting. I mean, it might be exciting if you liked yesterday me going around the TV station I work at and showing you like behind the scenes, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of that today. I just don't know if I'm gonna be filming it because clearly I'm gonna be busy on the job and stuff like that. But already this morning I woke up early not that early, but early for me, and I had to go help with this thing called a polycom, and basically this person is getting interviewed in our studios, and they do it through some sort of video feed um, for Wisconsin public television, and I just have to go help set up and do production stuff. The guy who was getting interviewed had to call me to figure out like where the building was that he was going to, and just as a signal of how my morning is going, he was like, oh, is this Paula? And I'm like, yep, yeah, this is that. I'm the worst at phone calls. And in my head, I was debating, like, should I say, yeah, this is her? This is she? Like, what's correct here? I don't know. And then I, I ran out of time and I said, this is that. <laughs> so probably for the rest of the day, he was like, who's this weirdo idiot who is putting a microphone on me and, and filming me? But um, that's my morning so far. I have about an hour of downtime and then I have to go to work and sit at a desk and do some homework. I would love to just lay here for the rest of my day but realistically, I'm gonna make some coffee and then get going. I realized I wanted to tell you guys about my laptop situation. Um, I wanted to talk about it yesterday because it was very fresh in my mind, but yesterday was a long vlog already, so I didn't bother. But as you know, I've been complaining in my videos all month about my laptop being broken and I did not have time to go out and buy a new one. So when I went home for break, I was like, Black Friday, everything will be on sale, perfect timing, love it. Of course, I am very picky about my laptops and the one that I wanted they did not have in the store so this was in my hometown and the guy was like oh we can have it just shipped to your apartment and my mom and I look at each other like no we shouldn't do that because my apartment does not handle packages that well there's no buzzer to actually get into the building there, there's a little box outside just it doesn't work and our manager doesn't live here or anything and there's no one like at the front to check packages so most of the time UPS just like leaves it there or sometimes someone's opening the door as they're coming in so they're allowed to get into the building but besides that there's no way to get into our building so I was super super scared about getting a very expensive laptop shipped to my apartment but that was really our only option at this point and me being picky I was like man I need this laptop I can't buy any of the other ones in the store so they were like okay it's supposed to get to you on December 30 December 30th oh my god no November 30th and we'll text you or something you can sign up for texts when it's arrived I'm going about my day on Tuesday night so the day before it was supposed to be delivered and I get a text at 6 30 p.m. maybe saying my package had been delivered and that's that was weird to me because I'm like don't like USPS and UPS I didn't know which one was coming through it was UPS but I thought they made their rounds in the morning and like they would not be delivering stuff at 6 30 at night I just thought that was kind of weird I wasn't home at the time um but I thought maybe it had been delivered like to Milwaukee but not to my apartment and they were going to wait until the next day to actually deliver it so I, I wasn't that concerned and then that next day the Wednesday I knew it was supposed to be coming and I kept looking I was home from like the morning until noon and I just kept checking I was nervous about it and there was nothing all day so I went to work and Wednesdays I work six hours at a desk I just sit there for six hours and then I'm there for like three more hours at the TV station at my other job so I'm literally not home all day I'm texting my mom and she's kind of freaking out about it like I am too so she calls UPS because she's on break at work and they said they definitely delivered it at 6 30 last night they left it in front of my apartment door not outside thank god but they left it in front of my door like in my building which is okay I guess but clearly it wasn't there because no one had seen it none of my roommates had seen it I 
did not see it there so it it wasn't there and at this point me and my mom were so convinced that someone stole my laptop I trust the people that live in this building I do they're mostly students and like I know a lot of people that live here and they're super nice and I wouldn't think anyone would do that but in my delusional state I was like where's my laptop oh my god someone stole it long story short I was having a panic attack pretty much all of Wednesday until I decided to text my landlord you think that's maybe the first thing I should have done but I didn't think about it um, so I texted him and he said that the maintenance guy who lives in our building had seen it in front of the door. The maintenance guy said there was like a warning on the box like, oh, this product inside has some sort of lithium battery, so keep it out of the elements or I don't know. So he thought it was like a valuable package, which it was, and he put it in the landlord's office without telling me and without telling the landlord. So good thing that he did so no one could have stolen it. But the fact that it wasn't sitting in front of my door when I got home from work on that Tuesday night really freaked me out. It was safe and sound in the landlord's office and I have it now and it's fine. But it just caused me so much stress. And if you're my friend in real life and you saw me at all on Wednesday, I was literally having a breakdown. <laughs> like, I was so afraid. So the issue is resolved. I have a new laptop. I've been trying to like re-download all my apps and sign into stuff and Microsoft Office was being a big pain. It like took me 10 tries to install it. It kept failing and I don't know why. And then I, this is me being stupid, but I edit on Adobe. So like Adobe Premiere, Adobe Audition, that kind of stuff. And you have to pay for that and I do pay for that and I guess I was putting in the wrong email address because I was logging into my account and it said oh you don't have a membership with us and I'm like uh yeah I do and then I talked to the customer service people today and they were like could it be under a different email and I'm like I guess can you look up this one and they're like yeah this one has an account and I'm like okay I'm just stupid for not trying more than one email address needless to say there have been a lot of just little issues with this laptop and technology in general, but I think I've got them all worked out. We're back in business. So currently I'm trying to edit yesterday's vlog, but I think I have to like sign out and re-download Premiere with my account that actually has the membership. Um, but this is my new laptop, isn't it pretty? It's an HP Spectre. It's more, it's more pretty. It's prettier here, but it, it's very dark in my room right now, so clearly you cannot see anything. But it's just super light. And it's nice. It's also a touch screen, not like I'm ever going to use that, especially for like editing. That'd be a horrible idea. But yeah, I like it so far and it's pretty. And I just really talk your ear off for like seven minutes right now. But I figured I would do a little story time about my, my panic attack this week. <laughs> okay, I will give you updates later on in the day. So see you later. Hi guys. So it's a little bit later in the day. <laughs> No, it's not. It's a lot later in the day. It's 10.54 p.m. I'm trying this thing where I set my camera down on flat surfaces when I just want to like talk to the camera and I'm not showing you what I'm doing because I feel like my shots are always shaky and I can't stand watching my vlogs and seeing how shaky they are sometimes and I'm just like, Paula, keep your arm steady. So I'm trying this. I'm literally sitting on the ground right now, but it's kind of nice. I'm sorry I did not vlog outside of my room today, but you know, these things happen. I did leave my apartment, which is kind of crazy, but I did. I spent a majority of my night at a live sports broadcast that I helped with. It's like our women's basketball team and we do a live broadcast of it. So it's like a multi-cam thing and people help out and we record it and stuff so I was there it kind of took a while but now I'm home and I'm so exhausted there's like a few parties tonight I don't know if other people are going out but I am so not gonna go out I need to go to bed pretty soon I also work at 9 a.m. tomorrow which isn't the worst shift in the world but I have to wake up at like 7 to get ready and walk there and yeah yeah, that's about it for now. I just wanted to give you an update on what happened today and why I didn't vlog it. So hopefully this, this angle even looks good when I watch it later because my camera doesn't have like a flip out screen. So I just kind of set it up and stare into the lens and hope that it looks okay in the end. So hopefully it does. I also need a shower tonight. So I'm going to do that. Ooh, I'm, yep. I'm going to shower, maybe take a little bit of a longer shower, maybe make a nice warm beverage and watch some TV and end my night. That sounds nice. Okay, 
I'll, we'll see what I do. I have no idea. So I decided against the hot beverage and the watching television because somehow it's midnight now and I just really need to go to bed. I'm excited to fall asleep. I did watch a couple of YouTube videos though because so many of my favorite YouTubers are doing Vlogmas this year and I don't think I'll be able to keep up with all of them, but I tried my best today to watch day one of all of my favorite YouTubers vloggers. So I just finished watching um, Miss Remy Ashton and her Vlogmas day one was here, I'm going to this swanky party put on by Too Faced and it was just so cool. It looked so cool. And I'm over here like, <laughs> what did I do today? I didn't leave my room. Like if you watched this vlog and only this vlog, you would think I never leave my room, but I do. So I know I'm not a famous YouTuber who gets invited to swanky parties, but it just made me wish that I had like <laughs> somewhere fancy to go, you know what I mean? But instead I just hang out with giant penguins, isn't that right, Charlie? <laughs> Everyone else has like <laughs> their cute little puppies too that get to be in the vlogs and they have dogs and cute apartments and I literally just have a giant stuffed penguin. But it's okay, it's okay. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this short. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye.